So I was looking for some useful websites for my scribers, and I found a few small ones that I thought were interesting enough. They're probably, these three here probably aren't uh, enough for a whole, a whole video by themselves. So I decided to kind of lump them into one video. Um, the first one I found was eggtimer.com, which I thought was very interesting because it will, uh, well, it's a simple countdown timer, <laughs> you know, if you want five minutes or, or one hour or, you know, 30 defaults to seconds. You've got different uh, settings here. Special timers does one 25 five-minute cycle, which is interesting. Uh, you got morning. It can wake you up in the morning. Um, I mean, all sorts of stuff. Let's click on the five-minute one, see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder what happens when the bell rings at the end. But anyway, this is um, e dot gg egg timer dot com so e dot gg egg timer dot com and i thought that was interesting so i wanted to share it with you uh, another one that i thought was interesting is um built with dot com will help you find out what websites are built with literally it's um a website will basically if if you're not sure if a website is legit or not, and you kind of want to see what it's all about, like you type in zazzle.com, which is basically what I use for my stores. Um, oh, wow, look at that. Technology profile. Okay. It gives you what's, uh, what's built with it. That's interesting. Detailed technology profile. Analytics and tracking. Okay, it's been tracked by uh, Google Analytics starting in March 2013. And it's uh, last detected is current. Wow. Megadata profile. I guess you need to, uh, to sign up for a service to get more stuff. But... Wow, tag history. Look at that. Interesting. Okay. Redirect profile. Domains redirecting to Zazzle. 1,129 domains redirect to pages on Zazzle.com. Wow. That's a lot. Well, that, that, would, that would tell me that it's a legit website right there. I mean, you know, you don't really have to sign up for a, a built-with account to figure out if your the website you're going to visit is safe or not. So I just figured that was kind of a cool little tool. Uh, the last one <laughs> you've probably heard of. And uh, this has actually helped me a few times because I'm old and a little clueless. But what this is is UrbanDictionary.com. So if a, uh, if a youngin gives you a word or a phrase and you're just like, what then uh, it's it's listed here it can help it can help out us old folks figure out what uh, what words type in any word let's see what's what's a word that uh, that the kids like using nowadays well let's just go with a simple one and just say meme because most people know what a meme is but if you're old and you don't, Type in the word memes, and the top definition, the cure of depression. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meme is not a word, it's a lifestyle. Hey, did you see that, that boy meme? It's so funny. Memes, memes are graceful, exquisite entities bestowed upon us. Filthy peasants, which are <laughs> sporadically known uh, to drift into a sea of existential crisis. And it gives you an idea, the best that it can, of what a meme is. And it looks like it's giving you all kinds of examples and stuff like that. So, I mean, I kind of already know what a meme is. But, I mean, 
you, you, you type it in, and it'll give you lots and lots of examples and definitions. You know, and if you're old like I am, knowing that kind of stuff is, is important. Because you don't really have to think about it. You just you just go to UrbanDictionary.com and you're like, Help me! Kermit the Frog here. Help me! I don't know what this word means because I'm old. And um, <laughs> so Urban Dictionary is a site that I would probably recommend. Anyway, if you like this sort of thing and you thought these three sites that I shared with you today were interesting, let me know in the comment section below. I do appreciate you fellers for watching. And uh, have a wonderful day. Um, and that's what I got. So I'm out. It, it would appear you have reached the end of this video. Well, I want to thank you fellers for watching things that way. And uh, if you could uh, go ahead and, you know, share and like and subscribe and all, all that YouTuber nonsense that they say on the interwebs, what what they they, they do there, uh, that'd be that'd be nice. Uh, y'all y'all ha have a nice day. <laughs>